word, man. What's good, bro? Man, a whole lot of emotion going on right now. Yes, sir, man. For people that's tuning in right now, can you let them know who's got on the phone right now? Man, this is one of these, man. The king of Dallas, man. Yes, sir, bro. How you been holding up, though? Yeah. It's not like one of these, the king of Dallas in this bitch. Yeah, for sure, for What's sure. What's up, man, bro? Shit, coolin', bro, coolin', bro. People wanna know how you been. Like, you been straight? Yeah, 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 man. You know, on the elevator, man. You know, patiently waiting. This shit almost over with now. Damn. Wait, so, hold on, hold on. First of all, bro, I got uh, Dallas Global on the phone, too, bro. He want to ask Oh, yeah. I am Dallas Global, man. <laughs> For real. That's what I'm trying to tell them. When they mention nah, nah, man, tell them people, man, I am Dallas Global, man. <laughs> nah, for sure. I put on for this shit for real. Hey, how long was your original sentence? Oh, they gave me 144 months. 12 years. Damn. So, yeah, how long are you here right now? I've been in jail seven years right now. Damn, so how Yeah, I've been in jail since 2017. How old was you when you, uh, when you when you when you first went to jail? I was eighteen. I turned nineteen before I got sentenced though. Damn it, you you was on a run before. See, you... I've been doing I've been doing this shit when them niggas was still staying with their moms and shit. You you was on a run before you went to jail initially, right? Nah, hell nah, they was on a run. The feds just pulled up out of nowhere. Damn, so walk us walk us through that shit. So when they when they pulled up on you, what you thought was going on? I ain't going to lie, you know what I'm saying? The type of situations I was in, you already know what I thought was coming. You know what I'm saying? But see, the feds told they told me it was the feds. I knew it was all bad. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I knew the feds wasn't there to play no games. You know what I'm saying? But see, that shit, that shit, that scared the shit out of me, though, man. I ain't going to lie. No bitch ran in the house. I thought it was some more shit going on, man. I ain't, I want the reason for that. For that camp. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn, like, bro, you know, your whole situation made it all the way to the Breakfast Club and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Was, I heard that my little nigga was telling me some shit like that. Like, did, did, you, did you ever check it out? Yeah, I heard it. I heard the little thing. I heard the little clip and the shit. Cause when I got where I was going, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of niggas were fan the fuck out of shit, so they would let a nigga hear that shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, bro, so, you know, like, Charlamagne had your, like, dunk of the day, bro. Yeah. Like, like, what's your thoughts about the whole situation, like, being dunk of the day? Cause that's kind of big for real. Nah, but that shit ain't, well, you know, I'm a street nigga, so I, don't, I ain't no, first off, I ain't no donkey. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you feel me? I'm finna show them what a dunk of the day is. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, man. for real though. But now nah, they just go to show you though. You know what I'm saying, nigga was just you know they knew what was going on. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like right now, bro, it's a it's a new genre in Dallas called like Dallas Drill, bro. I feel like you kind of one of the faces of starting that type of music, bro. Hey, listen, man, them niggas was babies, right? So for real, this some real facts, man. You know, from 2015, 2017, man, one of those niggas rapping, man. This shit was us, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas on my other side, the Z niggas, you know what I'm saying? Freddie, Yellow, Mark Dillon, you know what I'm saying? And Gayo. Other side, that, man, them folk grew up watching us, man, ain't had no choice. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They was still staying with their mamas, man. They was still watching shit that we was doing that made it cool for them to do it. Yeah. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They can't forget, man. Ron D. Stretch Gang had a million views, you know what I'm saying? Before Freddie and Yellow Beezy had a million views, man. Damn, for real? Man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? They're my niggas, though, you know what I'm saying? But I'm Ooh. just saying, for it's just to show you the, you know what I'm saying? The shit we, you know, the shit we had going on, that shit was serious. It was big, man. Nah, for sure, for sure, for sure, bro. Did the you... first niggas had a million views before us with Mo D, Puss Ass, and uh, yeah, yo. Uh, hey, so, bro, so, bro, what was your whole, how you even fall out with Mo 3? Because we seen the videos where you was like, you was fucking with 3 at a point of time. Like, you was in the videos yeah. and shit, it's kind of like you was under 3. Like, what Like what initiated the fallout nah, between? Yeah, nah, you, you know, man, man, 3 ain't never been like, 
I don't know, cool, super cool shit. My nigga Beto, that was his nigga. He been fucking with him since we was, you know what I'm saying, since we were jits. So, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, when dude rapped and we started rapping, you know, we live, man. You know, we ain't need none of that shit. We really didn't take this shit serious, but they used to, niggas used to use us for us, like, because, you know, we had a different type of wave. Mm-hmm. So, that's how I, and we ended up in the video and shit. He called it to the video shoot, but nah, we had got a tour on some more shit. Or when he had did some shit to a nigga in the city, you know what I'm saying? And they were putting him like the face of the city, and the nigga was saying, you know, that shit ain't righteous. But he played with a nigga on the internet, you know, that shit ain't nothing. You know what's going on, man. The world know what's going on. Damn. So, like, hearing about him passing, bro, like, what was your thoughts on How'd you feel about it? <laughs> man, come on, man. I'm not on no way, man. You know, I ain't gonna lie. It, it, it made me show that I already knew the city. It was the only matter of time anyway, man. We ain't gonna speak on this shit. I ain't really care about this shit. Damn, so you... Damn. Damn. Okay, so... I ain't gonna lie. Now, now bro, like, you, you mentioned Beto. Like, was Beto like... Like what? How, what was Beto to to stretch game? Like what? How 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 important was Beto to to the the whole the movement? Uh, Beto played a big factor. Beto played a big factor. Yeah, hey, hey, Beto was the rapper, man. Beto was the rapper from six five. That you know, Beto was the type of nigga that we all we pushed. We looked at up to Beto now at a certain time. You know, we were young niggas and shit, so you know they had everything going on and they were gangsters. So, a lot of shit that we ended up doing, they taught us that shit, or we seen them do it. So, Beto been rapping, so once we started rapping, Beto kind of, you know, walked us through that shit as we all learned that shit together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even shit we was getting to, Beto was learning too as we were learning, but at the same time, he was already doing it, so he had a lot of different roles. Beto, the reason we started fucking with Yale. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was, that's gonna be my next question. That's how you even met Yeah, yeah right, Beto? Yeah, yeah. So, bro, Beto. so so, what made y'all come up with like the numbers and shit? Like, where where the number shit come from? And who was like, if you if you had to say like who the most official number, like who who was the most? Ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing. We all official. It ain't no when it comes to this number shit. It ain't no big guy, little eye just because you won or he nine. I mean, he a buzz, you know, we all, when, when this shit started, man, we all is gentlemen, man. That what they didn't understand, you know what I'm saying? We all was kings, we all was CEOs, so that's why we clicked tight like we did. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, it ain't, you know, everybody chose a number for themselves. Anybody could have chose any number. The niggas chose the number they felt that felt them. Nah, 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 bro. I know uh, one of your guys that was in Y and B Stretch Gang. Uh, he might have been number zero or Jizzle, number zero, dark skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, what's what's y'all current relationship like? So I heard like he had paperwork on him, bro. Uh, you know, you can't speak of the gay shit. You know, me and my niggas. You know, we had me. Now that one number zero, though. Zero ain't got no paperwork. Zero a real nigga. It's Zen Yeah, yeah. You know, John, John, my fault. My fault. But yeah, well, you know, when it comes to the streets game, she, she ain't like a mother nigga. We can't speak on the game, so I love my niggas dearly, you hear me? Right. Already, That's already. what got me through all this shit. That's what got me through the time, my niggas. So, you know, I can never blame my niggas in it. Now, bro. This shit for real, man. Make sure you tell her, I'm the king of the city, man. When they go to speak about Dallas, Texas, man, them folks ain't got the voice of the streets, man. For real. Yeah. So, bro, so how, how, how influential? How influential did you do? You really feel like the stretch game, uh, BFG movement was at that time. Was that the man, was that the, the biggest shit going in the city? We yeah yeah, it wasn't nothing bigger than us at the time. Yeah yo, we was live, but I'm saying for us, Dallas hell no, nah, man, we had the biggest movement there ever been. Man. Plus, you gotta understand the streets was involved. Right, mm-hmm. you feel me? So it wasn't just no movement. A lot of rappers I met, it was around and different shit. Them niggas beef was like fighting, and you know what I'm saying? That shit wasn't real. Mm. Hey, has it been any any rappers that you fuck with that's been reaching out to you since it's been locked up? Rappers, yeah, the like the, the, the new bros. You see, you know, I've been fucking with a few niggas though. You know what I'm saying? But hell nah, but I ain't gonna lie, man. The world forgot about me. 
Damn. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool though, because I ain't do nothing but uh, elevate. Yeah, you sound yeah. you sound a lot more mature, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I ain't do nothing but elevate on those folks when those folks were counting me out, man. I was sitting back in there just working.